Professor Kimura is an expert on luxury marketing. So, uh, cheers, first. Come by. You know, those are delicious, delicious martinis. And I noticed that they have this, I mean, real um, element metal, here, this real yeah. metal, right? Uh, do you think that makes a difference to the experience? Of what course. What do you think? Of course. First of all, see the color. The color? Right. You won't see the red plastic thick. Oh, I see. And see the sound. Oh, yes. Scraping the glass. It's also the sound elements. Right, right, right. right. And when we fold it, okay, it's not light. Oh, I you see. You can see the weight. Oh, I see. So these are the elements that make things luxury. So this is the uh, uh, the ultimate martini luxury experience, <laughs> and we are having it here on top of the. Uh, a Careta building here in mm -hmm. Tokyo. It's on the 46th floor. Mm -hmm. uh, but let me ask you a few questions about luxury. Um, what do you think about uh, luxury and what's happening in the luxury business? Is something uh, different in Japan than in the rest of the world? I think that the Japanese prefer delicate things and they are very precise for each detail. I see. So all the little elements, like the ones that we've seen right. here with the olives mm -hmm. and all of that, really, and really matter. And they prefer perfection. I see. Now, besides martinis, <laughs> in what other industries do you see that delicacy and that perfection? I think maybe the interior at home. I see. Interior at home. Mm -hmm. uh, but in a, in a business situation, let's say, uh, in a service situation, I mean, are Japanese hotels, do you think, different from hotels elsewhere in the world? I think people are different. I mean, the em employees are very kind and try to understand each customer's need. The important thing is, I think the basic is to being polite and rigid. So politeness is, is, is a key element. So it's politeness, it's mm -hmm. the paying attention to the little details, mm -hmm. right? Um, I guess this also refers a lot to the tradition of Japanese culture mm -hmm. because when you think about staying in a traditional Japanese uh, home, for example, there are also these kinds of values. So it's, it's been around for a long time. There's one concept, the, the same, the, the one term in Japanese, sasuru. 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 What does it mean? It means guessing. With a verbal expression, you, sh you need to guess what he or she wants right now. So basically anticipate needs right. before I can even articulate right. them as a customer. Mm -hmm. And I think that Japanese are so good at sasu behavior. You know, in a way this martini uh, that we are having is an example of that, isn't <laughs> it? Because I really love it, I like all the little details about mm -hmm. it. I would never have been able to, in the customer research for example, to articulate those mm -hmm. kinds of uh, desires, but it's certainly a great, great martini. So thank you very much for that interview. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.